Hi, I'm James Norton, Chow.com Super Taster, here with a tale of two fish sandwiches. In my left hand, the Hardee's Charbroiled Atlantic Cod Sandwich. In my right hand, the new Wendy's North Pacific Cod Filet Sandwich. They both feel it necessary to tell us what kind of fish goes into the sandwich and where that fish is from. It's really interesting to see sort of the, the public view on these things evolve. It used to be once upon a time enough to know that it was probably fish, and it was covered in some kind of breading, and I think that was that was good enough for the vast majority of people. We're now starting to ask questions about where food comes from, and, and fast food is preemptively answering those questions. Unrelated, maybe diametrically opposed to this, check out the uh, Carl's Jr. Hardee's ad for their fish sandwich if you get a chance, because it doesn't have a lot to do with sustainable fisheries. And, and actually, depending who you talk to, uh, maybe we shouldn't be eating cod either. The Atlantic cod stocks in particular have had some real collapse issues, particularly in the 90s. Let's eat some fish. Um, I want to start out with the Wendy's filet of fish sandwich. It's kind of a, uh, a breaded fried fish in a bun. Fairly typical fast food presentation. Let's take a bite and see how it goes. I always have a problem with frying something up and then putting it in a bun. And it's just carbs on carbs. It's a little too much for me. Fish doesn't have a ton of flavor, which is okay. It's not a bad flavor or a fishy flavor. Uh, it's just mostly kind of a little bit salty. Uh, the tartar sauce is a, a sort of a necessary acid kick or corrective to all the carbs you're eating. It's not great. It's not horrible. It's really a fine fast food fish sandwich uh, from Wendy's. Sideways thumb. Let's try the charbroiled Atlantic cod fish sandwich from Hardee's. couple thoughts on this. I love that it's not breaded or fried. I think it's a really smart move because the bun is giving you that sort of carb cradling that it needs. The fish as advertised actually has a charred flavor to it. There's sort of a, uh, a, a blackening of the fish that took place. Uh, you can see it on the fish. You can see little specks of carbon and the, the honey wheat bun has a lot more, I would say, texture and flavor that I'm used to a fast food bun having. It's not just a, a bread-like foam sprayed onto the sandwich. It's bringing some actual personality to the party, and I think standing up to the fish really well. Beautifully done. Thumbs up for Hardy's uh, Atlantic charbroiled uh, cod sandwich. Who knows what it'll do to the earth, but you got, you got time to figure that out. It's going to be fine. All that stuff. It's going to be fine. Anyway, thank you for joining me. If you don't already follow me on YouTube, please do. I'm James Norton, Chow.com Super Taster, and I will be back in a couple of days with more food.